Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be uh, continue working in our scene and then we're gonna create the uh, camera animation. So let's start working on that. So let's go to create cameras and then create a camera. And then um, let's look through it. Okay, so now we are in zero, zero, zero. We can zoom out. And then let's click here to see the settings on the gate resolution gate and then let's go to the settings here we are under arnold everything here is good we don't need to change anything let's change this to camera one and then we can keep the hd 540 that's fine we can always increase it later but it's the same aspect ratio as the 720p so that's good so let's uh, move the camera and then you can see this uh, cutting out we can click on the settings here we can adjust the camera near clip plane to one and then the far clip plane to we can add like multiple zeros and then we can be able to see all our scene so let's look here and then see uh, where we gonna position our camera so we want to start from the lower part of the hills and then it goes up so it could be start around here from this corner and then goes up to there so let's do that and before we start finalizing the pose let's adjust the camera focal length because now it's 35 and usually when you filming like from a, a helicopter or from distance you use like a more uh, you increase the focal length because you're zooming so this is going to help uh, make it uh, look much better as well. So let's go here and then let's position it. Uh, we can like roughly position it somewhere that looks nice. Let's see if there is something that have like trees like this. You can lower it this way. Something like this. Let's see. For now, let's select it and then press S. Select everything here, press S. Make sure we are keying everything. And then let's change to 300. And then let's extend the timeline to match. And then you can click here on this uh, auto keyframe. Just wanna make sure you be careful uh, with it. This is gonna be automatically keyframing the movement you that you create. So let's zoom out. And then, and then let's go basically like fly the camera to reach that other corner. We don't want to go too high up in the sky. We just want to make sure. And this is the ending. So we want to rotate it maybe this way, the camera. So it doesn't reveal the edges. So maybe something like that. Let's press S just to make sure everything's keyed. Let's play and see what we got. So the camera have a good speed. Let's make sure right click and it's real time playing. And then also let's uh, go to the graph editor. Animation, graph editor. And then we don't want, so this is a slowing out of the motion. That's good, but we don't want it to slow in we don't want it to s the camera stop we want it to feel it's continuing so let's change that to linear so this way the motion will keep going and uh, it will have a much nicer and realistic feeling and also let's hide the trees for now let's select the instancer and on invisibility press zero so this way we'll hide it because now we just want to look at the animation of the camera Okay, so it looks cool. Let's show the trees. And then let's press play. It's not gonna be, you see, as, as good. So this way, what we can do is let's save and then uh, let's create a quick uh, play blast of our scene. So let's deselect. Deselect the resolution gate and then let's go play blast options. 
and everything here is good we want to change from render settings and then the scale will be one and then plus play blast okay let's play and see what it looks like okay the speed is pretty good it's not slow okay that's good what we can do we can probably adjust uh, uh, the rotations on it and also we can adjust um, the height maybe it goes up much higher uh, sooner so it doesn't wait that long so let's close this and then let's select the camera and then let's go to the graph editor and then uh, let's work on the height for example let's see so we want to make sure let's adjust it back to the resolution gate so we can see the camera and then want to make sure around here let's see like around 100 or 90 let's insert the keyframe then maybe let's push it up let's adjust here the this um, this constraint so we constrain the motion just going up and down so we don't accidentally move the keys to the side and then let's push it this way you know and then let's also uh, work on the rotation as well so let's see rotation x and let's like push it down as well a little bit then let's take the graph editor out of the way so this way it goes up higher and then rotates and then also what we can do is rotate in the y as well a little bit uh, like this for example and then we'll start rotating as well faster you know it's just basically creating a variety in the motion so it doesn't feel like uh, too like we get we, we're trying to give it more a natural look so we can always adjust these rotations here and then we can adjust uh, also the looking so we can look more up and maybe down at the beginning like this maybe we want to like see more of the ground and also we can lower the camera maybe a little bit more uh, since we lower it we can make it look up a little bit so we get uh, kind of nice um, a little bit more in the horizon this is gonna be like uh, lots of experimentation I'm now smoothing the curves just to make sure they kind of blend uh, nicely together so the motion will flow better this is all good so let's close the graph editor uh, let's save and let's do another play blast and see what the uh, camera looks like okay so let's play okay so now it feels much nicer it's like a drone I have feeling into it that lifts up and then adjusts the rotations while it's going so there is always like a movement in rotation and and translation uh, so it's not like all everything is linear so that's pretty cool we're gonna keep the camera like this it's have a nice feeling it's kind of have like a more a drone feeling into it and that's pretty cool so we're gonna keep uh, keep it as it is and uh, keep working with this scene so first let's save and then let's select all the settings here the camera and then let's select everything and then lock right click and then lock selected so this way we don't accidentally uh, affect animation in here and then let's select these settings as well and then let's do a lock selection as well so this way we will never be able to move the viewport and this way we're gonna keep our animation uh, safe uh, without the trouble so in the next video we're gonna work uh, with the terrain again we're gonna basically work into cutting the terrain and uh, removing anything we don't see in the camera and the terrain we're gonna basically delete it and this way will allow us to rescatter this reason it's gonna be much denser and much uh, nicer and then we keep going from there so see you in the next video